welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and swatching my new Himi gouache set. I will have it linked down below. This specific gouache set has been on my wish list for a long time. I originally saw it in one of Miss Arla Bean's videos, and I'll link that down below as well. Definitely go check out her channel. She's also from Pennsylvania and an awesome watercolorist, also plays the gouache, etc. Definitely go do that. But that video <laughs> really made me want to get this set. <laughs> Um, but I waited, I waited a while, and I kept seeing it pop up and recommended on YouTube, and just really wanted to try it out because, especially during this difficult time with COVID-19 and everything, I really want to explore gouache again. Now, I originally had this uh, mixed set of some Arteza gouache, and I did do a unboxing of this on my channel. And I also have some assorted um, designer gouache from Windsor Newton, but I didn't play much with these, and the Arteza gouache I like, but since I've been using them a bit more, I find that they lift fairly easy, and the pigment actually rubs off the paper, so I wasn't super thrilled with these. But this guy got <laughs> really good reviews, um, and I asked a couple of artist friends about it that own this set, and they said, just get it. So it's here. So first impressions, the packaging is really sturdy, uh, very heavy plastic. I love the mint color. Um, that's the color I got it in. It also comes in blue, pink, and yellow, I think. And I purchased this on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. And first off, this thing is a beast. <laughs> this thing is huge. It came um, just wrapped up in a little bit of plastic, you know, no fancy packaging. The case is supposed to be um, durable enough to withstand drops. It's advertised as a Hobby, artist paint, kids paint, student grade paint um, set. So I'm pretty curious to see how this um, will work out. So let's open it up. It also comes with this little nice lid palette, which is slightly, slightly warped, <laughs> but that's, that's okay. And then these are the paints. Let me turn that away. So this is a jelly cup gouache set. So these little, ooh, these things are huge. These, <laughs> each of these colors, there's 18 colors in this set. Comes with a 30 milliliter little cup and they have these plastic tops. And there's a whole range of colors and I'll, once I open them up, it'll be a little easier. I don't know how these are arranged actually. Ryan Little. <laughs> okay. So these little jelly cups are huge. <laughs> 30 milliliters a piece. Um, there's two whites. Now I believe if I read the description right, one of these is considered a mixing white and the other a titanium white. Um, but from the videos that I've watched, there isn't too much of a difference between them. And they don't actually have them, you know, properly labeled, so I can't really tell <laughs> which is which. So yeah. And I'm gonna just tip these over, and this is the order that they came in the palette. So there we go. There are the 18 colors. It actually looks like there's a pretty good selection here. I like that there's like a dark, it looks kind of like an ultramarine-ish color and then like a cobalt violet -y color. And a couple earth tones. So I think what I'm going to do is actually arrange them by what I'd probably use these. So I think I'm going to put the whites up top. And I'm going to go ahead and start unpacking these.
now that I got paint all through my nails and absolutely everywhere. <sighs> there is the filled opened up palette. So I have this arranged for my whites, black, and earth tones on top. And then starting with the dark blues, going into purples, this uh, magenta e pink color, and this uh, turquoise color I stuck here as well, just because it didn't fit with the bottom row. Bottom row is reds, so now we have the warm red, the cool red, warm yellow, cool yellow, and then warm and cool green. Just trying to keep them in a logical order for me. All right, so let's get swatching. So there we go, those are the swatches of the main colors. So far so good. So far they seem pretty pigmented, very easy to use, definitely very moist in these. And I'm curious to see how long these will stay this creamy and moist. Uh, a lot of the reviews said to make sure to seal them with some extra water on top of them. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But right now I'm gonna make a couple of mixes. And I really want to try the blues and yellows together just because when I look at a palette, those are the couple first things, first colors that I like to mix. And I'm going to try not to overwater it because <laughs> I'm definitely used to watercolor. So the ultramarine color and this lovely rich yellow, which reminds me of either a cadmium yellow or a gamboge makes a lovely little earth green. I'm just gonna put these right down. And this isn't the highest quality brush. This is a value set from Michaels that I've been using as my gouache set. So I'm not expecting it to perform as smoothly as it would with one of my nice watercolor brushes. but still creates some nice color. So now let's try something a little more saturated. With this like lemony color and the phthalo like color. And again, I think I have too much moisture in my brush. That's a nice green. So one thing that I'm learning about gouache is that you gotta watch your water content just because unlike watercolor, gouache is supposed to be used more opaquely. It's how you get the these nice flat washes, you know, solid color, and it's how you layer them. You can start out thin, but you shouldn't continue to be thin the whole way. In general, at least for it to, to look right. So now I'm gonna try some purple mixes and I wanna use this blue because this is really nice. And that makes just a nice deep purple, very, very blue. Also wanna try this with this color. Here we have more of a typical violet. Nice and dark. Now I'm gonna try mixing some of the white. I'm gonna start with this one on the on the right. This is pretty pretty thick paint. Just a little bit of blue tint in there. Get that color mixed in. I like the way that feathered in. And I'm gonna try to mix some straight gray. So now I'm gonna take a good chunk of white little bit of the black. Let's see if I can get a nice, pretty neutral gray. Again, I got a little bit of water in my, my brush. That's a nice gray. 
very nice. So there we go. Overall, first impressions, it looks like a nice solid set of gouache. Most of these swatches dried with no pickup, no pigment pickup, which is really nice. It's nice to, oops, that's not dry. <laughs> it's nice to have two whites in here because I know with gouache you use a lot of white. And I'm curious to see if I noticed any difference between the two whites. Uh, most of the people that I watched um, did not really see much of a difference, which I don't think is going to be a problem at all for me. All the paints seem pretty well pigmented, um, especially when you use thicker. I might even include a test piece in this video of how a full painting goes. Uh, we'll see. But these paints seem to perform really well. They lift pretty well. Now this is on mixed media paper, so it's not a illustration board or watercolor paper. But it seems to, you know, work really well. The pigments seem pretty solid in this. Supposed to be non-toxic. Um, for the price, now I paid $26, which is more than um, the average um, set of this goes. But with the time that we're in and when I ordered it, probably wasn't the best place to buy it. So I definitely recommend um, keeping it out for sales and price drops because the price does change. I know some people have gotten it as low as $18 which is a crazy deal for an entire set. I love the fact that these are three milliliter cups. Like that is a lot of paint. The average tube that I buy for watercolor or my gouache tubes are 15 to 12 milliliter and that has lasted me a long time. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see how this set lasts and how it dries. And I'm definitely gonna do a couple videos later on of this and like an update video of how it responds over time and especially where um, my studio is at it's very dry and not very humid so I'm assuming it'll be a lot quicker to dry and crack than maybe in more humid areas. I'd also like to take you along in a, maybe a full painting or two when you know how I'm getting used to this. I am pretty 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 new to gouache it's an intimidating medium for me but I am slowly wanting to incorporate it more into my work especially illustrative work so this will be like my play set and um i'll also maybe do a comparison video between the this gouache set and the arteza set i had the 24 colors and i did do an unboxing and first impressions of these these paints there's only a couple of them but i'm curious to see how this student grade um, compares to this student grade paint just because they're both around the same around the same price very affordable but definitely some big differences so if you guys are interested in that leave a comment down below so that concludes my first impression slash unboxing of these paints I'm very excited to use these and I'm excited to share it with you guys because maybe this will be something that you put on your wish list for Christmas or for a birthday or, you know, tell your friends, hey, you know, this would be a nice gift. <laughs> because I really think that it's a good, solid little set. And I'm excited to, you know, test its limits. This is only a first impression. I haven't done any full paintings or anything with it. But I'm excited to try it. And so far, it performs pretty darn well for the price point. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.